So Paul, I'm kind of relieved, but it looks like the average planet's not going to be that dis dissimilar from what the Earth's made out of, although there might occasionally be these kind of wild carbon worlds uh, that might be different, but the vast majority are going to look similar to us. But there is a problem here. We've said that the Earth's made of you know, silicon oxides and things like that, i.e. rock. Um, so the idea being the inner part of the protoplanetary disk, you'd have lumps of rock that were smashed together to form things like the Earth. However, the Earth also has this rather nice thing like an atmosphere and oceans, which would require water and gas. But there shouldn't really be ice which formed water. It should have evaporated. We said that these plants are depleted in all the volatiles or the gaseous things because they can't form rocks and stick together. So how did the inner planets get their oceans and their atmospheres? You can get ice which can form water, but only for, ow, it's too hot close in where the Earth formed. Well, okay, but maybe the ice, you know, there's not that much ice on Earth. It's just a little thin layer on the, on the surface. So maybe it's that uh, they were brought by your favorite objects, comets. Comets are icy balls. And in the early universe, there should have been early part of the solar system, there should have been a lot more comets going around and hitting the Earth. And so you literally just threw snowballs at the Earth and uh, you got a bunch of uh, water that way. Yeah, comets are actually a hard thing to produce because it turns out they have the wrong ratio of uh, hydrogen to deuterium. Deuterium right. is like hydrogen with an extra uh, ne neutron, and it turns out the ratio in the oceans on the Earth is different from the ratios in comets. So they'd be measured in a handful of comets. So more likely, it's icy asteroids okay. that uh, we talked about this planetary billiards early on, and that this would have, as the planets moved around and did their funny stuff, it would have stirred up some icy planetesimals from the outer solar system, and they may have rained down on the Earth and given us um, the atmosphere and the oceans, or at least the oceans. But there's also a puzzle here because. Um, this bombardment should have occurred on all the other planets, uh, so it should have occurred on the Moon, for example, and Venus. And Venus has a very thick atmosphere, uh, but no ocean. Earth has an ocean and a thinner atmosphere. But why doesn't, for example, the Moon or Mars have a nice thick atmosphere like the Earth does? Okay. So, uh, presumably, the question is, you can get this stuff. Maybe they all got the same delivery of stuff from these bombardment. But, uh, of course, the Moon and Mars are smaller than the Earth and Venus. So maybe there's something to do with their size. Yep, so let's calculate. Maybe their gravity isn't enough to hold these things. Let's see if we can calculate that. Okay. 